Hey guys, Subsisto here, and uh, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's been so, so long since I've last uploaded, and I apologize for the inactivity. Guys, things have been awkward lately. I've, I've had lots of work to do at college, for one. Second of all, my laptop decided to freeze up and not even work. Like, for like, I don't even know how long it was, but... My laptop was like, oh, I am not switching on for you. No, James, you can go suffer, go die in hell. I'm like, what have I done, man? Oh. But yeah, guys, we are back on Metal Gear Solid 4. We're going to be continuing off, and this is a new act. I'm not entirely sure which act it is, but we'll find out soon. ごしんのせくちきののべばしたきやまおこしんのもりつつみがたきたたいらのいちのとりうねよやましたささべいこふだいときはだいいよきんくち We'll launch a stealth nuclear warhead at JD. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm. Satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, brother. What the devil is this? Oh crap, somebody discovered. Our little guy. The video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. So... Uh, sad times? Even. Yeah. Drebin was saying something about that. <laughs> In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. <coughs> GW was one of the Patriot cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. <coughs> Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the A.I. threat detection system was fooled. Uh, even on the network. Uh, free from oversight by the Patriots' A.I.s. 
<coughs> it all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this haven? <coughs> Where is their base? Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> but that's not all Liquid said. Something about Rex being ready. Rex? You mean... Shadow Moses? <laughs> It's Campbell. The U.S. military's systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the Earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public? The president has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy-related stocks are already going into a freefall. themselves in the White House right about now. <laughs> in any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains Supreme Authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <laughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. This cutscene is insanely long, guys. It's been like eight minutes and wow. Just wow. They can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... <clears throat> then what's his plan? <coughs> That's it. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The Railgun. Indeed. Rex's Railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut, his monument, off the Alaskan coast. 
in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD, and his GW assumes total control over the system, he'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection. Right, boys. So we need to defeat Liquid, maybe? Please tell me there's going to be an end to these cutscenes. They are really, really long and dragging. There, there, Snake. You'll be okay, alright? Whoa, hold on, hold on, okay? Goodbye. There's enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriots' own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Bodicon. <coughs> we never stood a chance. <laughs> it's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this. Ryden, 
Five years ago. That's not what I meant. I've got nothing to lose. Uh, don't be an idiot. You know you've got someone to protect. <laughs> it was never going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. You can still shine through the darkness. The lightning. Raiden. Look at me. Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Arms Tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the Nukes should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. 
Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. <coughs> It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, uh, I... yeah, uh, I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. I have to atone for my past, too. Rex is a beast. Born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. I think this is like one of the most longest cutscenes I've ever watched, guys. This is insane. It's been how long now? It's been over 20 minutes. Coming up to 25. Oh my flipping life. That is it. That's just insane. But yeah, guys, let's just save. Uh, act 3 end. Yeah, we're in Act 4. That's what we're on there, guys. Act 4. We're going to Shadow Moses, which is going to be pretty, pretty epic. So, yeah, guys. I actually... Th wow, I love that logo then. Like a wolf. That's my favourite animal, guys. I love wolves. The wolves are amazing. But, guys, I think I'm actually going to conclude this off here. I'm sorry. I, ap I really do apologise, you know, um, that there's no gameplay. Because um, I just didn't realise that... Uh, let's just pause right there. Wow, look at this. Interface! Oh, heliport. Can I actually? I don't think I can skip these. Wow, this is sick. Look at me! Ah! They see me roll and they hate and. This is weird. Why is it like this for? Like, why is it uh, all weird like this for? Wow. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna be doing this in the next episode, so stay tuned for that, it should be out tomorrow. So, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Subsisto, if you've enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, and guys, crap. Yeah guys, take care, and peace.